Hello, everybody. I just hit my mic with my hand, but that's totally okay. Welcome into the stream today. I, I wanted to take a, a little bit to address the money making guide that you guys have seen that I put out. And I did a whole bunch of work with two really, really cool people, Iranoth and Kat, to get that spreadsheet ready for you. But it was presented in a way that was a little bit confusing, number one, and had some differences in what the data you actually wanted to see was and what was actually presented. So Iranoth is with me today. He's going to explain the differences between the document or spreadsheet that you guys have had access to and that video, okay? And then we're going to introduce a new spreadsheet and talk about what the benefits are and what has changed, okay? So the strategies for what we need to do have changed. Iranoth, go ahead and take it away when you're ready, buddy. Awesome. Well, hello everyone officially. So the um, the original guide that Rosalind had posted was based around the um, wow. I can speak today. Forgive me. It's okay. Uh, take your time. <laughs> the original um, ROI spreadsheet and the original video was based around um, the price of obtaining the ingredients to the crafted to the results of being their crafted form which created a bit of a discrepancy for um, a lot of the products because a lot of the um, harvestables you get for free now right. in the second roi and in the second video we have changed everything to their sell price the reason we have done that is because there really isn't a middle ground between sell prices and buy prices. Right. And, and you so guys are most, you guys yeah. are more able to understand a sell price because that's what you're directly working with. So I think we got a little bit, a bit ahead of ourselves with the math and, and got a little bit too much in our brains. So I think this this new way that we've calculated is going to be a lot easier and um, gives us a better look of actually what is profitable compared to raw ingredients, which a lot of you pointed out in the comments. Yeah. So enjoy the update with the sell price as our Yay! main factor to determine things. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to leave both of them available for you. Okay. Both ROI sheets will stay available. Okay. One is going to be called updated and one just is the regular. Okay. The one that is brand new, I have a red arrows beside. We have a new nice welcome page and both of the links are there for you to, to view whichever way is simpler and easier for you to do. Okay. So what does that mean? Right? What does that mean for, for data? What does that mean for what I should be creating? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look over here on the spreadsheet. This is going to be like a more mathematical, quick stream, guys. I don't want to um, waste your time with another guide here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get us going. All right. Same uh, strategy as the last game. I'm going to group it into early, mid and late game. Yaranoth has helped me with this and we have organized everything together. So everything should pan out according to your skill level in Sunhaven. All right. Now, just so you know, Rosalind is going to be the one speaking for most of this. And I'll just chime in when I can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, he's going to make sure that I, I stay on track because we we whenever there's an update, the next update we do for this, we want it to be uh, if there's a change in price, not a uh, change in how we look at the map. So let's get started here. Early game accessible. Looked at the crops. No big changes there. OK, no big changes there. Let me zoom in here so you guys can actually see what's on screen. There we go. Much easier, right? OK, pepper, shimmer root, durian, ghost pepper, snow peas. You notice that most of these are going to be spring, summer. Yes, I do have some winter in there, but I'm also going with the idea that you're, of course, you start a brand new game in the springtime. These are the seeds that you're going to be most likely to pick up because they are at a lower price. OK, early game, you should be working to create a jam maker and a bee box. 
Those are in your farming skill tree towards the front of the skills. They take one skill point each. Here are the things that you want to focus on for those. You want apple jam and banana jam. And I have fruit punch in the wrong spot, but that's okay. That one is actually, I believe, on the cooking pot. Could you do a check for us, Irnoth? And I'll go ahead and actually hot fix this right now. I'm not sure if it's on the juicer or if it's on the cooking pot. All right, it'll take me a minute. Take your time. So he's gonna check that for us, okay? So forgive me, you know, this is this is why we go live to check things and do updates because sometimes things change, things change. Okay, so we'll make sure that that has the correct uh, crafting table with it, all right? For the bee box, go ahead and get your, your bee boxes started. All of the honeys are going to give you a fantastic shot at making both increased skill levels, increased experience, and bank. Okay, go ahead and get them in. You don't have to water your flowers after they mature. Remember to go check out the bee box video guide for how to do jams. I've got you covered there, okay? Fruit punch, you'll need Adventurer's Cookbook 1 to be able to handle that, okay? For your juicer, this is a crafting table that you get early game and you don't have to unlock it in any way. Glass of pure water. I don't know why. I don't know. We, we both Aaronoth and I looked at this and we were like, really? Well, oh, you know, okay. when when you uh, <laughs> when your character is so desperate to drink out of a bird bath, you uh, would imagine that pure water is definitely high value. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Catherine's uh nasty bird bath water uh basic furniture table the weapons rack is what you're going to focus on there don't worry about that boho rug don't worry <laughs> don't worry about the other stuff we have everything calculated so it's a little bit different now the one that you need to focus on there is weapons rack don't worry about the advanced furniture table basic that's that's all you need to know okay on the oven wither cake i have an answer by the way answer Daily the double. At the cooking pot. Cooking pot. Okay, guys. So I made sure to update that. If you've got access to my comprehensive guide over on Patreon, remember it's only five bucks a month to be able to get access to that. Really easy. Okay. And if you ever have a question, I'm always here. Um, cooking pot for fruit punch. Okay. That one should be an easy one to go ahead and get because that's your opening recipes on your skill tree. Okay. Wither cake comes with the oven. You don't have to unlock anything. That's another decent one, decent one to focus on. Let's move on to mid game. Well, what does mid game mean? Mid game means you have Navari and Withergate open. These are the two other cities in Sunhaven. One's the Elven city and one's the Monster city. Okay. Starting with crops that you have access to: pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Okay. Melon in the spring and grapes. Lots of grapes after you open the, the Navari quest line. So as soon as you meet Edwin in the Sunhaven Tavern, you should be able to plant grapes that will be available at Catherine's farming shop, okay? Let's look at the cooking pot. Raspberry crepes. Yay, one that did not change from the last guide. It's still here, okay? Energy smoothie, you'll need farming level 25. And then cooled lava honey, you'll need a drop from the magma bugs. They can be found on levels 21 to 30 in the Sunhaven mine specifically, not the Novari mine, not the Withergate mine, not anywhere else. Sunhaven mine, okay? For your jam maker, you can stick with the same jams from above, add grape jam to your output list as well, okay? Probably gonna wanna make some more jam makers and get some more bee boxes, okay? Honeys are still good, but we're just introducing more ways for you to make money as we continue through the game from start to finish. Your seed maker, at this point, you should have access to a seed maker. You will need to unlock that in your farming skill tree. I have a list for you from most profitable to least profitable from Iranoth. He did a fantastic job looking at that for you. Starting at the top, cotton, honeysuckle, candy cane, green bean, cranberry, kiwi seeds, coffee bean, butternut and barley are on the same level. Pea seeds, choco berries, and hops. Okay. Now, so, before she can use too far, um, this list does not cover all of the seeds. It just covers like the top percentile of seeds. Yes, because we don't, I don't want to give you, it would be point, it, pointless to give you a list of every single seed in the game, right? You want to be able to focus in and say, okay, I'm going to do the, the first top three. I'm going to do cotton, honeysuckle, and candy cane. 
or I'm going to focus on ones that are available in multiple seasons and start to strategize. OK, what am I doing in spring and summer? What am I doing in summer and fall? What am I doing in fall and winter, et cetera, et cetera? OK, and if you need help with that, come back to the guide that's got some more information and the ROI spreadsheet as well. It tells you all the seasons for all the crops. So we've got you covered so you don't have to waste time being like, I need to invest in 25 different seeds and then put them in the seed maker and spend a whole bunch of mana. Just choose a couple here and and go with that. OK, choose choose. I mean, if you're if you're into making jams or you're into cooking or you just want to do straight farming, pick and choose what you like. These are going to be options across the board regarding every skill, essentially. All right. At this point, you've got Nelvari and Withergate open. These have not changed from video one. OK, I did get a hold of one of the developers over at Pixel Sprout and we talked about cons conversion factors. OK, it is what, 40 mana orbs to one coin. It's one mana orb for 40 coins, one mana orb to 40 coins and then and one ticket coins for one ticket. Do we have that backwards? Um, in the guide, it's I think written we have correctly. it backwards. OK, in the, in the guide, guide it's correct. correct. In the guide, it's correct. On the ROI spreadsheet. Let's see. Well, at least last I checked, it was. OK, one orb, 40 coins, one ticket, 30 coins. That's your conversion. Now, please remember that I have not and Iranoff has not done any conversions on their ROI spreadsheet with these numbers. You are more than welcome to take these numbers and run with them. OK, but I'm giving you the basic information so that way you guys can make smart decisions moving forward. If you want to go mega farm um, and focus on mana orbs and tickets, that's totally up to you. OK, lastly, let's hit late game. Let's wrap this up. Watermelon. It's going to be very expensive to buy, but at this point you should have enough money to be able to have a huge watermelon field in your second year. Pythagorean berries as you exit your first year. Soul Orbs, which is a very, very late game end game item and Mana Gems, Mana Gems, which is after you meet Navara. OK, that's after the Navari storyline. So overall, just some best in class uh, situations here. Same as the previous video. The only thing I wanted to add to this list for Sunhaven was Watermelon. All right. We have not added anything to Navari or Withergate because of that conversion factor. So it makes it a little bit more complicated. You guys are more than welcome to talk about that. Let me know what you think, what you think the best options are for Nelvari and Withergate making mana orbs and tickets. And we can go from there. If you guys have any questions or if you see something that's wrong with the spreadsheet, my email is listed on the welcome page. You just send me a quick email and I will go in and fix it and I'll have Aranoth double check my work. OK, so that is the update. No more boho rug. It's going to be OK. <laughs> Sell your wool. <laughs> I know a lot of people were upset. They were like, but fabric, but wool, sell it. I, it's OK to be wrong sometimes. <laughs> but this time, I think we've got it all figured out. And as things change, we'll continue to uh, update the sheet as we can. Look forward to another update coming to Sunhaven soon. Hopefully within the next month would be fantastic to see uh, patch point eight. This will be museums and a whole bunch of collectibles and a lot more events. So I'm excited to see that. Don't forget to also wish list Sunhaven over on Steam and a brand new game that Pixel Strout Studios has uh, plans to release called Sundown. It is a roguelike bullet game that you guys might also enjoy that's in the same universe. But uh, that's where I'll leave you for today. Irina, thank you so much for helping me explain what's going on here. You guys now have access to this via Steam. I've updated it there. I've updated it on the first video for Making Bank. And I've updated it on Patreon as well. So everywhere you go, you should have both links for the new ROI spreadsheet. All right. Have fun. Leave me comments. Send me emails if there's any issues. And we'll continue to update this as we go. It's so Seriously, awesome. Though. Yeah, yeah, let us know. Like, we're human. <laughs> we we want to make it better. <laughs> For uh, sure. But no, seriously, though, do like and subscribe, Rosalind. She put Aww. in so many hours into this, into these guides and ROIs. 
You have no idea how many hours she put in. And I'll always have more guides coming for you guys. If you have ideas, by the way, uh, don't forget you can join me over on Discord. I'm constantly, constantly scheming over there with Iranoff. Like every day I'm like, I can make a guide for this. I can make a guide for that. Uh, the link for that is over on my YouTube page in the top right hand corner. There's a little Discord and you just click it and it'll take you straight to us, okay? So you can come hang out with Positively Good Company, or if you just wanna hang out and uh, shoot me an email, that's totally fine too. And of course, you guys know I respond to comments. All right, I'll wrap it up there. Best of luck with your adventure in Sunhaven, and we'll see you guys next time for another guide. Bye. Bye.